Hey everyone, as you see, I have new background. It's our planet Earth behind me in dark. So it's finally all the holidays have finished. Finally, it's been done. So I would like to talk with you what is NFT and just slightly to touch the subject with some examples and as well. Uh, say kind of red flags NFT that you have to be um, cautious before you get it. As you know, like it's many scams, fraud, hacks, blah, blah, blah. When it's something new, popular and is booming, some people can create fraudable uh, tokens or can steal or hack whatsoever, right? So we're going to talk about some red flags about it. And of course, we're going to talk what is NFT. Um, if you have seen it, uh, I made November, on November 29th the video about uh, honeybee. So this is actually, um, this is those bees, naughty, crazy, cute bees. And as well, of course, Axie Infinity and as well, uh, Crypto Kittens. I love Crypto Kittens. I hold Crypto Kittens and I hold honeybees. So <laughs> I expand my collection. So we're gonna talk slightly and just kind of go through it. So it's short video, but with the most important information. Of course, every time just make your own research if you don't really understand something. Um, I try to make uh, this videos in YouTube kind of uh, short, but with very important information. Uh, of course, in course or like, master classes it's more information and more explained with theory uh like th theor theory theory practice and blah 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 so it's different kind of level uh in short videos is just kind of the most important information just slightly that you will understand what's happening so what is nft why it's going so crazy. So as you know, NFT is really now kind of booming off. So it's really more and more people get interested in it, uh, creating them on collection. So it will be some videos coming up. Uh, I have actually listed somewhere about OpenSea for NFT. So some videos will be more going uh, forward in the future about NFT more. So because it's really kind of booming. So I'll probably start to record it like tomorrow or like during next week because I'm recording this video in November, but it will be listed <laughs> later on, like 17th of January, just, just in case. So I have time to pre-record before all holidays will start. So NFT is non-fungible token, if I pronounce that correctly. So non-fungible, fungible. Uh, is a term to describe things that cannot be exchanged one one to one with each other. So, for example, um, you cannot swap a digital version of beautiful Mona Lisa for a plot of virtual land in the same way you would exchange identical five euro bills or a dollar bills. Any currency, what is your country, right? Because it's identical. You, you can ex you can do it. So that is understand that is understanding that NFT, non-fungible tokens, they cannot be exchanged one to one because the digital items both have completely different uh, qualities or different values. So that's number one, <laughs> the most important information. So I guess now we can understand that NFT is non-fungible token, is uh, the digital items both have completely different qualities and different values and they cannot be exchanged one-to-one. -one. So far, we dig in it, right? So, so what you should understand is that, um, I don't know why I'm moving this, sorry. Uh, what do you need to know about NFT? It's unique digital asset built on blockchain technology and it's run on uh, Ethereum network. Uh, at this basic NFT, it's a digital asset that ties the ownership, you're the owner, so ownership 
to unique or physical digital objects such as artwork, real estate, music, video. So it can be like as, um, as a land or a virtual land, digital art, digital real estate, digital music, digital videos, or whatsoever. It's NFT is digital asset, but it's not a cryptocurrency. So we have to have that in our mind. NFT can be considered modern and uh, new innovation of modern collectibilities that you can collect and you can buy and sell them online and to present digital proof of ownership of the item what you own so people can see your collections or when you're ready to sell them right or you want to buy new collections and like have different collections so everything is pretty much nfts are uh, being um, secured and uh, run on blockchain so there it can be like it's the same technology pretty much blockchain is what is where is run cryptocurrency right so it's more secure excuse me is decentralized so it really gives you new uh, way to earn money let's say so you can sell your own collection if you, if you are artist and also or you can buy and sell it after some time so it gives you kind of understanding right that it's it's still secure and safe because it's run on blockchain and now you can do whatever you want with it. So how do NFT work, right? As I said previously before, just now, many NFTs are created and stored on Ethereum network uh, through other blockchains. That is a flow and Tezos are supportive, uh, support NFTs as well. Some hard drive wallets support NFTs as well. They slowly changing algorithms to accept NFTs and hold them secure offline. So since anyone can view blockchain, you can go to Etherscan or blockchain scan and you can kind of scan and NFTs ownership can be easily verified, tracked, um, as well as checked for people, organizations holding token, you know, so you still can that kind, I mean, if you sell it, you still can be like um, a whole like hidden, but I mean, the transaction that you actually send it, it's kind of proof of ownership that you saw, like you send it, like, do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't know what's happening. I think it's because getting darker, it's, it's only 4 p.m. and it's really getting darker. And I'm like, oh my God, and I didn't woke up. So yeah, so it's possible to tokenize various types of digital goods such as works of art and, uh, and much more like games, you know? So it's really um, NFT is like innovation what is slowly become more and more popular of source of income, as I said before. So NFT that transfers ownership is added to blockchain. The file size of digital items does not matter as it's repaired separate from the blockchain. So that's a good thing to know, right? Like, do we get it or, or, I, or I confused you? I hope like from all of this subject you can understand. I, I don't know why when I try to explain I change subject and I repeat many many times I don't know why I do that but hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say so digital ownership um as you've heard Pokemon creator uh is is probably planning to have limited collection of Pokemon cards on NFT You've heard it here first. I mean, this video will be coming later, but I mean, I've said it here while I was recording it. So another way to think about it is to imagine trying to convince someone to swap a rare stamp of um, stamp for a Pokemon card. You simply couldn't, at least not without some serious negotiation. Uh, but it's not just mutual exchange that makes them special. It's, it's how the, they allow people 
to prove their own digital item. So it's a little bit different technology wise, you know, how you have to prove that it's yours uh, and as well, how you can exchange it, you know? So you have a collection, you know, where you hold it, where it's, it's open sea, where you can verify, you can list your items and you can prove it, you know, it's different new, um, way you know so for gamers if you're a gamer uh you you can be able to own your own character or you are able to sell gaming items it's it's, it's just like it's makes really simply uh unique and different for what we are used to i mean it's you know i can't understand what it is but i get um I get so many questions in my head. How is that possible? Okay, yes, I understand how is it possible, but how? Like, it's it's really like you know, it's you have to prove that this this is your digital item, and you have to make uh, you have to prove that it's yours. You know, so it's kind of recorded in blockchain on Ethereum network as well, so you can prove that it's your digital item and you can exchange it, you can sell it. So it's really interesting uh, innovation and it's it's interesting, right? So proof of ownership. Before NFTs was impossible and difficult to sell things like digital art, once a piece had been public on the internet, anyone can copy it, fake it and say they had the original. So the improvement of now because this is how it was before right but now it's entirely possible to prove you own something digital set up automatic royalties and sell accurate virtual items thanks to emergence of nft so it has been changed uh because let, let's be honest it it would be very difficult to prove right like before like that um it will be difficult, impossible to sell the digital art because like, it can be like anyone, I mean, anyone could copy it, steal it, blah, 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 right? So you cannot really prove that you have original. So, but now everything has changed. You can prove that you own something digital and set up like automatic royalties and sell accuracy, virtual items to like different emerge NFT. I know I repeat this twice because I try to really understand that as well. Uh, I do understand NFT, but I still have additional questions to it, you know? So I'm tr like, I have few NFT collections and I'm trying to realize it more about it, you know, just more to have understanding because I have crypto kittens for couple of years when they came out and I had no idea that it was NFT or it was, I, I thought it was a game. I mean, it's kind of gaming. And I mean, I didn't know what it is, you know? So I kind of slowly get into it, understanding what it is. So another interesting thing about NFT is they can be used to prove their rarity. So they're rare of something and there can be limited collection, limited edition. So it's limited, you know, it's, it's rare. It's only you can have it, no one else. So if you have something that no one has it or no one has seen some collection, you come up with some collection. So it's rare, right? So everybody wants it. So it's like, it's like crypto kittens, you know, <laughs> or like, apes or crypto punks like whatever right or whatever you have in your mind it's possible to include information about the sacrosity of the unique asset or group of unique assets like different collections of assets uh, which can be linked you know this is cool like you can show your different collections so a person can choose what he wants to get and um yeah and it's rare Yay! <laughs> so you could create many limited editions. You can create your own limited edition digital items and store specific details of each piece is on NFT as NFT. This, this would allow to show your prosperities for buyers or interested, 
or interested parties to purchase them. And just, yeah, it will be like, because it's so scarcity, scarcity. Like it's so rare, let's, let's call it, it's so rare. It's limited edition. It's limited digital item that no one has it. And it's so rare. And you're only one who hold it. You're only one who create it. So it will be, it will be on such a F ink demand that everybody will want to have it, you know? So here are some examples of NFTs. So it's uh, Crypto Kittens, Axie, Infinity, Board, a Piat Club, and um, CryptoPunks, you know, as well as many others like uh, crab games as well. I have talked about it. I will still add, I will add a couple of them actually. So we can see different NFTs as crypto games and um, bees. Yeah, and if I want more. <laughs> so why it's so expensive? So as you know, like the starting can be start with one Ethereum, uh, 0.3 Ethereum, 0.5. Like I bought Crypto Kittens many, many years ago. It was worth 80 or $70. And now it's skyrocketing. Now the worth of it, it's skyrocketing. It's, it's crazy expensive price. Uh, as well, like uh, apes, you know, you can buy for like, I've heard that some are like for 500, 600, 700 uh, dollars, euros. Uh, like B, honeybee, it's like starting with 0 0.3 Ethereum. So, I mean, it is kind of expensive. But why would someone pay thousands of dollars, euros, pounds for an original digital item? what they could buy perfectly replica NFT for much less. Like why? No, you could buy replica. Like you could buy a copy of it. Well, it's the same reason as I mentioned before, we buy anything rare or collectible or limited edition is because we want to have it because it's so rare. It's all about owning something original and it's, owning something new in innovation of NFT, something new, unique, different, what still touches perspective of um, uh, cryptography, like cryptographic ideas and all like that kind of innovation what is run on blockchain, it's new, it's unique. So this is why it's so expensive, you know? So it's, it's much more something different, you know? So that's that's the main thing, what I was trying to say. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is what I said. I know I was, I remember I recorded a video of Crypto Kittens. Uh, and for some reason, I was recording this video the same day when I was recording Crypto Crabs, um, uh, uh, Crab Wars. And I thought it would be in the same video and it wasn't. So I will have to, uh, remake it because I couldn't find it. Like I don't, I thought that I've recorded it, but probably I did not. I don't know. Like I don't remember. So I guess I will have to record Crypto Kittens again. And uh, so red flags, I have here prepared for myself red flags. What I have broken down. So it's top three red flags in NFT. So if you have paper, we can slide it out. First of all, if it's an uh, anonymous tip anonymous team so creators should be happy to put them real names surnames pictures and just kind of reputation on on these projects what they're creating because they should feel um proud of themselves that proud of themselves what they have created so they should be they should share it because it's reputation it's them little baby what they have created. So I guess it will be always awesome to know the transparent teams and as well to understand their goals and just vision behind why they created. So if it's anonymous team, that's a red flag. All like all this, I mean, these people creators or developers, we should share who they are, success 
popularity, you know, like goal vision of it. As well, second red flag is if it's basic roadmap. So if it they have um, roadmap, like like we need to check and look for some utilities just to understand kind of a goal what they have or how they plan to do it. Like like they have to have very good explained roadmap as well as a full roadmap as a goal, what they see a goal, what they see a goal of reaching of 15% um, or 30%. Well, I mean, what is the goal for them? What are we trying to do with it? So that uh, roadmap should be really very explained and share the goal of it, you know, like of prosperity of utility, how it should be, you know. So if you see it's basic roadmap, so it can be red flag. And as well, low volume. The last one, low volume. Sales volume shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be in um. I can put it shouldn't be in minutes, not hours, not days, not weeks, not months. So sales volume should be in seconds or minutes. It should be fast, and it should be very um, quick. So it shouldn't take hours and weeks. So three red flags, it's low volume that sells thousands of years, not a speed light, you know? So volumes are uh, taking longer time, you know, like, so yeah, low volumes, uh, basic roadmap and anonymous tip. This is red, red flag tips for you guys. So save it up. I think I said it correct, right? Yeah, I think so, because I was looking at it. So I think I've read it correctly. So yeah, check it out, that it has to be a good team. They say the name, they say the vision, you can click on it, you can read it more about why they came up with this idea. They're proud, just explanation why they came to it, what's the goal. Uh, roadmap should be mwah, speechless, great, truthful, um, maybe it has some mission, you know, it has some goals, it has um, utilities, like how it will go, even by percentage or by scale, they will explain like, this is one, this is two, this is what, like a vision, like a goal or a mission. And of course, it has to be great uh, volume, volume of sales, it should be, sale of volume should be in minutes or like, uh, speed of the light, not hours or days. So that's kind of short video what I wanted to do. <laughs> so I kind of made it. Yay! So I'll see you soon. Just let me know what you would like to learn more. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I try to do something different every time. So um, don't judge me. I'm here to share tips and advices and just educational information and my curiosity because I'm curious crypto kitten and I would like to learn more as well so I'm still working on this NFT to be honest like understand what it is like I've tried this is probably why I was um, explaining five times the same thing because I'm still trying to understand that as well and just more have understandable version of it or realize it more you know, or just see what it can be done with it you know in view of this innovation so if you're curious crypto kittens as i am stay tuned subscribe and watch more bye